Hello Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is Dee and I hope you're doing well. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. To my current and new subscribers, thank you for your support as it is greatly appreciated. And if you're browsing YouTube and you've come across my channel, it's not by co coincidence, it's a divine connection. So go ahead and press that subscribe button and join us here because I would love to have you. Also, this is a general reading, which may or may not resonate with you. If it does, great. If it doesn't, just let it pass. In other words, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. God most high angel spirit, guys, beings of love and light, the Holy Spirit. What is the divine guidance and encouragement for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising? That's for their well-being in the highest form of love and light. Thank you. So Capricorn, if you've been having a challenging time lately and you've been feeling a little discouraged, you're being encouraged to look at things from a different perspective look at how your future is going to be brighter and how everything is going to reveal itself as being for your well-being it may have been difficult and you may be at the point where you feel like things are beginning to clear up for you from having a challenging time um, it could have been a short period of time that you find that You've just been being very challenged in different areas of your life and your relationships, but things are getting better. Like the um, the dark clouds are lifting is what I'm hearing. And so be hopeful, be encouraged to know that brighter days are ahead. Everything is getting better. Even if it doesn't feel like it, know that it is. And everything that happened, happened for your well-being, even though it may not have felt like it at that time or it doesn't feel like it at this time, it is. And the, the message I'm getting is that things are truly getting better. Be hopeful. Be encouraged. Don't be discouraged. Have faith and know that all is truly well. All is well, Capricorn. Because we all go through moments of challenges, of difficulties, but it all works out for us in the end. It's all for our greatest and highest good. Sometimes we have to endure challenges, which causes us to become more wiser, more experienced, more um, drawn to enhance our spiritual connection with God most high or however you honor the higher power. Sometimes it takes those situations to invoke us to enhance, to grow our relationship spiritually, even with God most high or the higher power that we honor, that you honor. So be encouraged, all is well. Know that better days are ahead and that everything is truly working out for your well-being. It truly is. And I'm also hearing it's important for you to say mantras that really uh, elevate your, that elevate your um, vibration. So say mantras, even if it's a mantra that naturally comes to you, that is given to you, that um, is in your heart, not one that's already scripted, just recite the mantra that really lightens your, your energy, that makes you feel lighter, that makes you feel more loving or loved. Encourage, say the mantra or mantras that really speak to your heart. It's going to encourage you, it's going to lift you up, it's going to also, again, enhance your vibration and your frequency. All right, let's see what else you have, Capricorn. God most high, angel spirit guides, beings of love and light, the Holy Spirit. What additional message you have for Capricorn, sun, moon, and rising, that's for their well-being in the highest form of love and light. Thank you. You have surrendered to no to non-action. 
Now is the time to be still and not act, Capricorn. Simply breathe and focus on your own power. Let others come to you. So you're being encouraged to really have a time of reflection, have a time of meditation, have a time of stillness, and not be reactive. Ground yourself. Focus on your own power because it takes strength, it takes inner willpower to focus on the positive even when things may feel discouraging. So give attention to your own power, your own willpower and rest in that. And if someone is in need of your assistance, Allow them to come to you versus you reaching out to them in an effort to try to help them to heal is what I'm hearing. So, yes, you have a big heart, Capricorn. You are very nurturing of others, very caring of others. But you're being encouraged to allow others to come to you. You have the ability to see, to spiritually see what's happening when others are not even speaking on it. You see what's happening, even if they're not being completely honest about their situation. You see and you know what's um, driving you in your heart to want to encourage them, to want to help them, to want to heal them, to want to guide them. Like I'm... Um, I'm hearing like you're like that medic, you know, like when a paramedic, that when someone's injured or like a first responder is what I'm hearing, that you're like a first responder to nurture, to care, to want to heal, to help others for their well-being, but very, very caring. But you're being encouraged to not take the action to go to them, even though you see it, you see it to allow them to come to you. And then you can speak into their lives the, the healing words that they need to help them on their path. So now is the time of stillness, not to act, find your place of peace, tranquility, be still, know that all is well, and take some time to simply breathe. Ground yourself, focus. I'm also hearing engage in some breath work. It doesn't have to be a long session. It can be a two minute section, five minute section. Whatever you're feeling guided to do, but engage in some breath work. Okay, Capricorn. So this is your message. I hope it has been helpful to you. Thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate you. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and press that subscribe button and join us here. And also give this message a thumbs up and leave a comment down in the comment section. Let me know how this message resonates with you. And if you're not one for words, drop me an emoji. It would be greatly appreciated. So until the next time, Capricorn, take good care of yourself. Peace and blessings to you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.